All right, hey everybody. I may even have my head painted red, but I'm still a productive member of society. But what happens, uh-oh, I'm having my attack. I'm the Hulk now. The magnet is making me a Hulk. My behavior is different, even though I'm physically the same. What will the other ants do to me? They're gonna get angry. Hey, 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 look at me, I'm the bad ant. What are you gonna do to me? Are you gonna bite my head like last time? Yeah, you're gonna start biting my head. Oh my god. I don't know why I have these seizures. It happened after I had the mysterious red paint surgery. And whenever that giant guy with the magnets comes nearby. Okay. Ant is still biting his head. He doesn't like the way this guy's acting. And I'm gonna release the magnet and return to normal. By the way, here's the magnet. It's from some hard drive. Okay, he's calming down, he's calming down. That ant decided to release him. <laughs> okay, main ant that's painted, waking up from his attack. Where am I? Oh my god, not again, he says. He's near the beetle that they like carrying around. And nobody's bothering him, nobody's bothering him. Where's his tweezers? I'm gonna remove that beetle so we can look at him better. Thank you, good sir, Brian. Removing the beetle. You guys don't need to play with this beetle all the time. Okay, so regular ant, painted red, is back to the normal status as a good, upstanding citizen, walking around, just happens to be painted red. Da da da. Participating in the walk up the corner wall games. Yeah, he's a swell old chap that everybody loves. Here comes another red painted ant. I just dropped him in. His butt is red. Okay. So nobody, again, nobody's bothering him. Reintroducing the magnet. Oh, the attacks. He's hulking. He's hulking. Oh, we better bite his head to calm him down, fellow ants. Rawr, rawr, I'm going to get you. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Oh, there they go. Head biting. Let's carry his head around, because that guy was acting like a nut. This is awesome. I think we may have strayed over the line from science. To mad science? <laughs> or at least like somewhat angry Into science? like YouTube science. That's true. <laughs> well, you, knew, you know where this video is headed. Yeah. Okay. You ever wonder who would make it if it was just a single ant in the middle of Huh. Single ant. Oh. Reintroducing magnet. I'm gonna get this single butted ant. Ah. He strayed from where I can move my magnet to. Okay. Final experiment. We have a dead ant, but from, I think, the same colony. I'm gonna introduce him and we're gonna see how they treat. Single ant, just happens to be painted red, also just happens to be dead. So they walk up to him, no magnet yet. He's just a dead ant, painted red. No big deal on the streets of ant life. Maybe someone will pick him and toss him in the pile. Who knows? But let's see what happens when we introduce... Oh, there's a guy biting him. I'm gonna... Guys... Okay, great. So they're picking him up, throwing him in the garbage pile. I'm going to take him out. All right. Okay. Single dead ant is back to his bachelor life of not going into the pile. Now he's magnet. He's animated single dead ant. 
What will they do with him? Uh-oh, regular alive ant is nearby. He got sucked into the mix. All right, single dead ant is moving. One of our members has been reanimated. Where is he? There he is. Is that dead ant? Where'd he go? I'm sucking up too many alive ants. <laughs> Where's single dead ant? Okay, well, this is an experiment for butt painted ant. Acting funny. Hmm. Dead ant, where are you? Okay, here's an experiment of extracting the previously dead ant. Oh, <laughs> well, ants don't have to be magnetic to stick onto things you toss into their colony. That's a good lesson to learn. Uh, <laughs> dang it, got off my fingers. Is that the dead ant? He's not magnetic. Okay, I, luckily I have another dead ant that's painted magnetic. Drop him right there. This dead ant is, I believe, from a different colony, but they don't seem to be that aggravated. Now he's an animated dead ant. So that one guy just jumped at him. Playing with corpses. <laughs> this is what happens when I start programming for too long. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing how much that one double painted ant just goes back to normal civilian life. And he keeps walking over to this corner. Hey, what's going on with that guy? He's moving around funny. Stick him? What do you mean stick him? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Good thinking. Like, if there's a guy who, like, used to be an upstanding citizen, and now he's just laying there. Yeah, maybe you think they'll think he's dead? Or okay, here's a very much alive ant. Like three or four on your arm. Yeah. Oh, Brian, you need that other magnet. You got that other magnet? It's not tall enough to let me just lay it here. So he's just sitting there. People are intrigued. What's wrong with you, fellow ant? I don't get it. You used to be so sprightly, full of life. Good at citizenship. Why is the other, the other bag helping? Oh, because, there we go. Now I can just set it here, it's tall enough. I just needed something thicker. You're perhaps a little loud. Oh, sorry. Did somebody complain? <laughs> are you on the sea pearl list? I, I, I didn't see that list. Yes. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, uh, sorry, I was narrating for the camera. I, I, that's okay. Right. If you're doing, uh, so have you magnetized a... Um, that guy's mm -hmm. magnetized in the corner. We were doing things where we moved him around before, and we move him around, and then everyone attacks him. But then oh. we release the magnets, and they kind of like calm him down, and then he just goes back to normal. Um, and right now we're seeing what happens. We're not moving him, but we're just magnetizing him down to the ground. They're not attacking him, but they're kind of like, you know, seeing what's up, dude. So if you, if you, if you take the magnet away, he can walk around? Uh-huh. Yeah, so here's no magnetism. And now he's just a regular walking ant. And everyone's like, oh, okay, yeah, that's Henry. He's an all right ant. He has these fits every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> the gecko doesn't seem to want to keep his thing up. Oh, where's the gecko? He's over in this cage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then we can just go, blurp. That guy just has magnets on his butt, so. He just kind of, he Which acts one? somewhat Where's the one he's, uh, he's standing right in the middle of this corner, and his butt, no, he's, he's kind of reared up because his butt's sticking to the <laughs> ground. <laughs> and then that other guy's in there. This is the guy who, he, we have a dab of paint on his head and his oh, gaster. Kind of yeah. And yeah, if you move him around, they get upset. Yeah, so if you move him around, they'll start, um, mm -hmm. yeah, you gotta kind of hold it up a bit higher. There you go. Okay. 
Yeah. If you like bump him into people, they'll get angry. And like sometimes they'll just bite his head, try to kill him. Her. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and then you release it and they're like, okay, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I feel so <laughs> <laughs> This is not the gentle vortex. Mm. Is there a way to just sort of affect him a little bit? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just getting kind of close makes him kind of weird. And like that one who didn't have very much paint on him, he can still kind of run around, he can overpower it, but his butt drags. I wonder if you could force, like, them to to release pheromones out by dragging their butt on the ground. Maybe it's just kind of leaky. It's kind of gross. That'd be great. It would be great. Oh, magnets on. But this makes me feel like a ten-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I need a magnifying glass. Uh huh. Okay. Oh no, it's good. You make a little thing for. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. I gotta go.